Okay, we're going to play a little game. We're going to play, going to play a little game. You ready? I, I, I just, at my house, we, we, when we're together in the car or something like that, we play, we don't play Bible trivia. I know that messes you up. Because, I mean, I don't want to just, you know, embarrass my family. We don't play Bible trivia. I know you do. And I know angels make your beds and all that kind of stuff. But we just, we just real folk. And so we like, we like to play movie quotes in the car. Anybody ever play movie quotes? You say a quote and then you got to know who it was, what movie it was, right? Do you ever play that? Look at you. I don't watch movies. She come on high. You crazy. You so spiritually ridiculous. You're no earthly good. Amen. I asked somebody the other day, let's go to such and so restaurant. They said, oh, I can't go there. Why not? They serve alcohol. I said, you gonna drink any? No, but others will. I said, where do you shop? Kroger. <laughs> Let me tell you what I am. I am clothed in the armor of God. That's what I am. I just tell the devil, catch me outside. How about that? That's right. That's right. We're not people who live in fear. We're surrounded with favor. Like a shield, blessed be his holy name forever. Because my ways please him. He causes even my enemies to be at peace with me. I increase today and every day in wisdom, in favor, in stature with God and with me. No weapon formed against me can prosper. And every tongue that rises against me in judgment, I condemn. This is the heritage of the children of the Lord. My righteousness is not of me, but of him. He has made me meet to be a partaker of the inheritance of the saints in light. Translated me out of the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. Galatians 3.19, I am Christ. Therefore, I am Abraham's seed and an heir according to the covenants of promise. Can't touch this. I have a passing through anointing. I feel the Holy Ghost. I have a passing through anointing. The evil one touches me not. My life is hid with God in Christ Jesus. I pass through the water, does not overflow me. Pass through the fire, does not kindle upon me. I know it's cliche, but I'm gonna shout it anyway. Greater is he that is in me. If God be for me, who can be against me? Ah! If you shout just a little bit, the Holy Ghost will get on you. Come on, shout. Somebody dance, somebody spin, somebody wave, somebody rejoice. Somebody dance just right where you are and let the devil know he under your feet. Come on out there, you tell him, cast me outside. Ah. Somebody make a joyful noise. If it's not joyful, make a noise. <laughs> the joy of the Lord is my strength. A merry heart does good like a medicine. A cheerful heart makes a quick recovery. Woo! Oh, yeah, 
to see how good you are. Be seated. You have to raise your hand. You have to raise your, not now, you don't know what you raise your, okay. Every hand now raised will contribute $100,000 this year. Everybody put that hand down. Everybody in the building should have raised a hand. What are you expecting? Dear God in heaven, y'all got to change your thinking. Let that mind which is in Christ dwell in you richly also. Hallelujah. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, make your requests known unto God. And the very peace of God, which surpasses understanding comprehension, shall keep God garrison your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. Lay your hands on your temples and say, no vacancy. No vacancy. Because I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. Lay your hands on your belly and shout, no vacancy. Because I'm full of the Holy Ghost. Put your hands where your mouth is and say, no vacancy. Because I'm full of the Holy Ghost. That same spirit that raised up Christ from the dead dwells in you and quickens, makes alive your mortal body. My God, what have you all been drinking? What have you been smoking? Good God Almighty. That same spirit that raised up Christ from the dwells in me, quickens my mortal body makes me alive under Christ Jesus. I'm trying, honey. Just go ahead and lead out. Well. Jesus. God gave Brother Copeland a vision one time. He was trying to preach to folk. And he looked out there and in an open vision, he just saw emaciated skeletons looking back at him. He asked the father, Father, what is that? He said, that's what their spirit looks like. See, you're looking at their flesh, but that's what I see their spirits look like. And God said to him, can these bones live again? Well, they can only live if they get a word and if the Holy Ghost breathes on them. Tonight, we're going to spend a little bit of time letting the Holy Ghost breathe on us. For he's not given us the spirit of fear, but a power and love and a sound and disciplined mind. He said to our heart, fear thou not, for I am with thee. Woo! Be not dismayed, I am thy God. I am strengthening you. I am helping you. I am upholding you with the right hand of my righteousness. If his spirit dwells in you, please tell me how you can fail. Whew. Sorry. I'm, try I'm trying to get to this now. I preached a whole... I preached a whole Dominion camp meeting sermon on this. Say, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you the quote, and then you're going to tell me the movie. You ready? Go. There's no place. No, you got to raise your hand. Patty, you are here for and forthwith and therefore banned from the game. Okay, if you believe we should give her a second chance, shout. All right, we'll give her a second chance. All right, where, where is it from? Right there, right to you, stand up. Stand up, shout it out. Uh, who, who said it? Who said it? Dorothy, right? Yeah, but who was she? Judy Garland, ready? Okay, how about this one? Frankly, my dear, I don't. St stand up. You don't ever look behind you when I point at you. What? Frankly, my dear, I don't give a D A M N. 
Is it different when you spell it? Is it different when you dot, dot, dot it? We are so crazy. Frankly, ma'am, I don't give a dang. Okay, that helps. What? Clark Gable, Red Butler, gone with the wind. Yes. But Miss Scarlett, me don't know nothing about birth of no baby. I could have been a contender. Elder? Marlon Brando on the waterfront. Marlon Brando on the waterfront. He looks kind of like me, don't you think? I don't know. I'm about to shave. Yep. I'm about to shave. I know they had a meeting this week and they calculated we're losing money because I grew a beard. So I'm gonna... I said, do you honestly mean to God to tell me that you took up time sitting in a room talking about my personal hygiene? So then I did this. Get my phone. Get my phone. I went and I went and did them. After they did that, I went and did them. Hold on. I went and did them a, a new. I did them a new. Uh, a new promo pick. Catch me outside, how about that? All right. Is you is, is you ain't. My constituency. Oh, I got you. What, baby? Oh, brother, where art thou? There he is, Wayne Duvall. Boy, I got you on that one. I got good, I got more gooder ones. Oh, everybody get this one. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. Oh, oh, everybody's like, oh, no. Ah. All right, Miss Patty. Christmas story. Jeff Gilly. He was Santa Claus. You'd never got that, but I just gave it to you. Oh, I love this one. This is one of my favorites. I can actually hear you getting fatter. <laughs> David Spade, Tommy Boy. <laughs> Go ahead, punk. Make my day. Dirty Harry Clint Eastwood, the man's man. You ready? Life moves pretty fast. I'm gonna give a book to whoever gets this one. Life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop once in a while, you could miss it. This one's from Austin, so he's the best there is. Not you, Ashton, you don't count, not you, David. <laughs> Professor Sams, in all of thy wisdom, Ferris Bueller's day off. My friend Kevin Adele owns the car that they pushed out that plate glass window. He has it totally restored. Yeah, he said Austin could come drive it. He did. It's awesome. Uh, pull over. No, it's a cardigan, but thank you. Pull over. No, it's a cardigan, but thank you. We landed on the moon? Awesome. Same movie. 
You can't handle the truth. You want me on that wall. You need me on that wall. He is looking at you, kid. When? Casablanca. Huh? Who? Hump, oh, they already put it up. Humphrey Bogart. Okay, one last one. Ready? Play it again, Sam. I just, I just killed all of you. Everybody says Humphrey Bogart in Casablanca, but that's never said in the movie Casablanca. Did you get it, Elder? You said, tell me what you got. Home Alone, Elder. Home Alone. We gotta get you out more. Let everybody back here. All right, all right, Marky, you you about as good as Austin. No, it's never said in that movie by Humphrey Bogart. I'm going to give you one more chance. I'm going to give you two books if you get it. All right, I'll let you try. Back there. No. Yeah, yeah, but I don't know if he ever said it in a movie. But actually, that's never said in a movie. What's actually said is, play it again, Sam. And it's the lady actress in Casablanca, Ingrid Bergman. It's amazing what difference a word makes. Huh? Elder? I'm going to play the entire movie next Sunday morning. Elder is contending that he is a contender, and it is in Home Alone. Okay, everybody that agrees it's in Home Alone, raise your hand. All right, the skunker got skunked, so Elder gets both books. Yeah, go, go ahead, Elder. You have to look, Elder, look at me. Say, I am a world-class receiver somebody tries to give you something don't go well I don't need it we'll give it away then you get blessed and get to be a blessing amen